Hi, this is Ivan with Simple Sheets. In this video, we're going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial of our capacity planning analysis template. This is one of over 100 pre-built and smart templates that we offer. Click the link in the description to try 5 free templates before you buy. Let's get started. The introduction sheet contains a short description about this template, as well as some definitions of the terms that you'll be encountering in this template. Over here, we have a customization difficulty an explanation of the sheets that come with this template, and some instructions on how you can utilize this template. And at the bottom, we have a short guide on using our templates with compatible online services. This template would allow you to gauge and compute your production output with respect to the size of your workforce, the days you operate, and the efficiency of your machinery. This is a great tool to help you make strategic and relevant management decisions to maximize your production. To do just that, let's head over to the Capacity Data Sheet. This template contains sample data to guide you, so for this video, just follow along. In the Product Standards table, here on top, input your products, then input your projected balance or the amount of items you aim to produce for that product. Input also the cycle time, cavity, overall equipment efficiency percentage, Quantity in one package, available space in square meters allotted, number of workers assigned, and shifts. Below that, in the shop calendar, input the number of working days that you'll be having per month. After you've filled all those out, all you have to do next is input the demand, actual working days, and working hours per day for each month for every product. Going back to the top, Input your OK capacity and risk capacity ranges. These are the ranges that you'd want your production to be in. Once done, it automatically gives you the units per hour, units per day, required days, the operation rate, monthly production, monthly capacity, accumulated capacity, workers required, space needed in square meters, available space in square meters, and the space gap in square meters. Some rows contain formatting such as the operation rate, which highlights green if it's at or under your OK capacity, and red if it's at or over your risk capacity, and yellow if it's in between. Generally, you want to have your risk capacity a tad bit lower than 100%, because you always want to leave a bit more room whether for expansion or for emergencies. Monthly capacity and accumulated capacities are also in red font if they're negative, as well as the space gap so you are immediately informed if there will be a problem with production or storage and knowing that sooner allows you to make strategic business decisions faster, minimizing the impacts of deficits. On each table, you have a graph for the accumulated capacity versus the operation rate and the monthly overtime operating days. On top, we have spark lines for the monthly production capacity of your product standards, the annual product operation rate percentage per product, annual demand percent per product, and the production unit per hour per product. If you want to just hop onto the metrics of your data, we can head over to the capacity review sheet. It gives you quick and useful information such as the overall manufacturing rate over time, overall demand quantity versus end on-hand monthly stock, factory gap space area over time, space area rating per product, average workers required per day, and the production units per hour. With this template, take charge of your production line. That's all for this template. If you want to automate your Excel processes and enhance your level of productivity, Simple Sheets Advanced Templates and University is the best tool out there. I'll see you guys on the next one.